teaching you how to uh, create Makosa loops with your phone on your Android device and um, we'll be using this app which is called FL Studio Mobile FL Studio Mobile yeah okay so what will happen is um, when you're done installing the app and you're done installing the app you click open now um, if you don't have this app you can send message on whatsapp and um you send me a message on whatsapp and i'm going to give you the app but the app is paid so i'm going to give you the app for 2500 naira. so but if you can download the app online and pay for it online there's no problem the most important thing is that you have the app so this is how the app looks like and um I'm just going to walk you around the features of the application so when you get to the app um, you see this fruits like design at the top right top right corner there if you click on it it's going to show you the interface you see songs you see settings you see shop you see files you see help you see quits you know, there are so many things there then this plus sign at the middle is when you click it, it's um, easy to select your sound, drum, instrument, blah, 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 blah. You want to select. So you understand that. Okay. Now, when you click this other line, this arrow line, yeah. When you click it, there's a master. When you click on the master, this is where you can mix and master your songs. I'm going to show you all this as we progress. You understand. Then when you come down this is your piano you can click it up you can bring it down a little then this is your tempo you have bpm bpm 120 you know you have your play when you want to play you will play okay so right away we'll go straight to it how to create makosa praise loop okay so how to pre create praise loop but this will be dealing on makosa um, we'll see how we can go for today. See how it is. Now let your tempo be on 120. Yeah, so it's on 120. So don't touch it. Now I click on this plus sign. You see this plus sign? Click on it. When you click on it, okay. Okay. First of all, go to this apple, this fruit line at the edge of your, at the right hand side. Click on it. When you click on it, go to songs. Then go to your right hand and click new. When you click new, click on empty. When you click on empty, make sure that it's 120 time signature. It's just like that. don't change anything and click OK. You understand? Okay. So now um now you click on this plus sign at the middle when you click on it go to drums you see channels you see synth click on drums when you click on drums you see all the drums you have there now one thing about making a loop especially if it's a loop you want to rehearse it understand three things in making loops that are important number one is the kick so you click on 908 908 is a kick you click on it now when you click on it, it automatically push down other instruments for you. So three things are important. What did I just do now? Okay, let's let's go back. Let's go back again. So so this is drums. Let's go back. I'm going to delete it right away. Okay. Now. Um, Let's click on the plus sign, click on drums again, then click on 909, click on 9, so you see, so it's going to open this tab for you. Now first thing to note when making a loop is your kick is very important to do this, your snare, your snare is very important to do this, and uh, your percussion and your hi-hat, so kick, snare, percussion, percussion, and higher is very important now if you if you look at it if you double click on your kick if you double click okay if you just click on one it's going to show you some other stuff you don't need those stuff now so you just leave it like that now when you click on it it's going to show 
it's going to be highlighted so you understand to tell you that this is the option you're working from now if you click on snare you see it's going to tell you that this is the option you're working from click on percussion and click on hi-hat click on kick so you understand okay now i'm just doing all this introduction so next time we'll get faster about it now if you look at this right these things now you notice there is four counts now one two one two three four then it has it has a darker ash color and a lighter ash color a darker ash color and a lighter ash color you understand so now this one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four they all represent beats and bars so now we are only going to drop our kick on the first beat of each bar which is the two three four now if you check at the top here if you check at the top you see it so you see it this is bar one you go to this other side where there's a bigger line which saying that there's a bigger bar there then there's a bigger bar this other side too so depending on um depending on what what you want to do okay now if you play it now you click play there's a play button here this is it here so you click play it's going to sound like this wow now we have our kick there okay so that's our kick now um if you click it again it's going to pause it's going to pause okay all right so um i'm watching my time i don't want it to be too long so we'll play again now when you have gotten that pause you can always drag this top one to the beginning let's say or you click if you play and maybe it stops somewhere here you can just click this arrow ev button to take it from the start now the snare remember the kick is at the first beat of each bar remember i told you four beats make one bar so in each beat in each line you have two colors each color is represented by is representing one bar and each bar is represented by four beats you see the beats you see four lines one two three four one two three four one two three four sure you understand so now that is it so we are only working with four bars one two we are working one two three four and each of these bars has four bits which is one two three four four bits on it now for your snare now for your kick you only put your kick at the first bit of each bar and that is what we did so if if it's not sounding like this it means you made a mistake means you made a mistake okay i'm going to stop here for today so that i don't get you overworked i'm going to create a part two and we'll continue from where we stop now this is what you want to do to save your file you click on this fruit line at your extreme right top extreme right when you click on it then you go to save at your right hand here you see save you see save is that when you click on save now you see now there are different options there's zip there's midi there's wave there's flc there's mp3 click on flm flm then you save the file you rename it click on rename change it from new song to makusa loop, makusa loop. then you click done when you click done then there's a save button here then you can click save boom it's saved so once it's saved you can quit you can quit your file and um, go back so you can actually press this line here this button press the fruit button back again when you press the fruit button back again you see quit at your top right corner then exit FLC to your mobile yes. now you've exited it so that is how it works um i'm going to do another tutorial we'll continue from there and we'll have something very nice 